Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm here in uh, Barcelona again. We're staying at my son's apartment. He is in chiropractic college here, and uh, the apartment sits empty during the summer, so uh, it's a quick jump from Switzerland. We come down, jump in the ocean, and uh, enjoy the Spanish lifestyle, which is quite magnificent. I know all of the news is saying how horrible it is here. Well, I'm here to tell you that we're not experiencing much of it. Uh, I was talking to a Spanish man uh, earlier this year. I came down here to do some work, and uh, I said, your unemployment is 20%? He said, yeah, it's way down. It used to be 50. So uh, what we think is horrible and uh, devastating and things like that uh, apparently isn't. But uh, we were sitting at lunch today. Uh, we found a small uh, kind of a fast food walk place, W-O-K, and uh, it's organic, which uh, we kind of look out for as much as we can. Uh, we're, as you know, a lot of you know, a natural family. I'm a chiropractor. My son is in chiropractic college, as I said. And my daughter said, you know, Dad, if you want more views, you're going to have to uh, change or label your um, topics properly. Uh, she said, there's a girl I went to school with, and she had, she said, it's the stupid, stupidest video I've ever seen. Uh, but it was labeled the worst mistake I've ever made in my life. And she said, it got uh, maybe millions of hits just because of the title, just because. And, and now she has all these followers. And, of course, that's what we're looking for, trying to get our message out there to see who's doing what. And I said, well, like what? And she said, well, I don't know, like the Olympics. The Olympics is trending right now. And, uh, uh, you know, talk about the Olympics. So we went to lunch, and then the girls went off shopping. I was with all my daughters. Uh, my son met them, uh, but his girlfriend's with them, so that at least rationalizes it for me. Um, but I can't do that mega shopping thing that the girls can do. I don't know that there's a man alive who can. Uh, so I bicycled back to the apartment, which is where I am now, to do these videos. And I'm, I'm riding back, and I'm thinking, the Olympics. What do I know about the Olympics? So the next few uh, videos, I'm going to talk about some of the things that I have learned about the Olympics. Uh, the fact that the first chiropractor ever invited to the Olympics was a man named George Goodhart. Uh, he was invited to the Calgary Olympics at a time when I was studying with him, and he practiced in Detroit, Michigan. I was in Windsor, Ontario, which is right across the border. And he came and he, um, well, at any rate, I'm going to tell that as another story. Because it's, it's, I think it's interesting. I think that uh, uh, my organizer, co-authorist, friend, uh, co-creator, uh, Dr. Claire Bowen called me the other day and she said they're doing these statistics and a lot of people turn off the video as soon as they, as soon as they hear kinesiology. So uh, some of my videos are designed to get rid of people. Uh, some of them are really designed to see who's curious. So I'm going to talk about kinesiology. I'm going to talk about the Olympics. I'm going to talk about things that I know. And if it turns you off, that really is okay with me uh, because kinesiology has changed how people view healthcare. And uh, yeah, I'm going to continue to do it. Have fun. Uh, talk to you soon, obviously. Bye.